Hey guys, Triple B here. With Halloween just around the corner, we're gonna be doing some breakdowns on some kind of like wacky, spooky shenanigans that you can play at casual leagues leading up to the holiday. These aren't really competitive level decks, so I wouldn't recommend saving it up for a cup, but tonight we're gonna be playing Houndstone EX. It's got the attack Last Respects. It does 160 base damage for a psychic double colorless, and then 10 more damage for each of your psychic Pokemon that's in the discard pile. So of course, we're gonna be running a bunch of psychic Pokemon in here. We've got the Gardevoir line, providing you some draw support with refinement. You can discard a card from your hand, then draw two cards. So a great way to get your psychic Pokemon in the discard pile, while also evolving up into Gardevoir EX, providing you some energy acceleration. So it's a way you can get your energy in play using Psychic Embrace, accelerating a Psychic Energy from your discard pile at the trade-off of taking two damage when you do to any of your Psychic Pokemon in play. So you can just go attach for turn, then Psychic Embrace twice onto Houndstone, and you can start using Last Respects, taking some pretty cheeky knockouts. Once you've got, what's that? 16 things in the discard pile, you get up to 320, it's enough to one shot a Dragapult EX, and 17 you'd be taking out a Charizard EX. Obviously going into things with less health, you need less guys in the discard pile, but to help fix up some numbers while also getting guys in the discard, instead of just having Curlia to get there, we do also have the Dusknoir line. So Duskull evolving into Dusclops, Curse Blast, you can knock itself out, put five damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon, helping fix up numbers for a Houndstone, and then putting itself into the discard pile to scale up the damage output of it. You can also evolve all the way up to Dustmar, having the same ability, but putting 13 damage counters out since it is a stage two Pokemon. So a bit of cheeky shenanigans. A nice thing about Houndstone also, it does have an inbuilt Mimikyu well, counter. Mimikyu is not going to be hurt by EX Pokemon, so you can be attacking obviously with like the Dusclops or Dust Noir if you really wanted to, but you do have Houndstone who also has Last Respects doing 80 base damage and scaling up by 10. And then the pre-evolution Graveyard also has Graveyard Gambling? <laughs> it does a multiplier of 10 scaling up by 10 for each of your psychic Pokemon in the discard pile. So this one, you can be taking out pre-evolution. So if you can quickly get a bunch of guys in the discard pile with something like Professor's Research and Ultra Balls, one psychic energy, you could take out a pre-evolution like a Charmander or maybe a Tatsugiri sat in the active. And it's a way to get past Mimikyu, or you have this Houndstorm, or you have the EX for the big attacks. Like I said, it's a bit of fun shenanigans. The rest of the deck I feel like is pretty straightforward. You've got your typical staples, your research, your bosses, orders, some Iono for a bit of disruption. The A spec, we're going to be running Hyper Aroma. You can search your deck for three stage one Pokemon, put them into your hand. So it's a great way to get your Curlias, get your Houndstones, even get into your Dusclops. And then you can either chuck them in the bin if you want, or evolve up into those pieces. Eight Psychic Energy, you want to get them in the discard pile as quickly as possible, and Artisan as our stadium just to help establish your board. If you can get online pretty quickly though, maybe don't play this because it does help out your opponent, so it's kind of one of those situational things. Love to hear what you think of the deck list, and are you going to try out Houndstone for yourself? But let's hop on ladder and see how we go with this. Okay, what are we into? Lost Box? Artisan's going to help them a lot, but I do need a secondary guy out, or we just get Cramoranted for game. So we go Artisan, we get a Ralts. Uh, we go Ultra Ball, likely getting rid of... Get rid of Guardi, get rid of this. Get another Graveyard. Or I... I could keep that just to have this to evolve up. Nope. FM, could you make a case for United Wings to be a Halloween deck as it's using the discard pile the graveyard to power itself up? Like you can justify it by saying you're being powered up. And it's got Murkrow? He's kind of Halloween y, I guess. I, you kind of could. It's got owls in it. Owls are a little bit Halloween. Yeah, you could, you could spin it. You could spin it. Boss box you could probably get away with too. They're kind of like sacrificing cards from your deck to make your engine online. Going to some weird upside down dimension. This one literally has Sate in it. <laughs>
do that. Theoretically, I'm just attacking with him in the base form. Chuck that there. Let's do this. Get another Ralts. Yeah. Fresh hand. Nice. How many switch have they gone through? Not very many. I was like, is there a, a world where I can take a knockout into this? No. Let's get this. Let's get another Ralts. Sure. It's like, I go big bite into him. Means Cramorant can't come up and take a KO. Forces them to go for Giratina. Honestly, let's do that. I fit, they're going to have a switch. They just have a regular switch. Regular switch into this. You hard retreat that one out. They need what? Colrus gets them to seven. Mirage Gate onto that. Oh, or Mirage Gate onto that. Take out two little guys. Back him away the back. Fair enough. I'm doing what? 190 right now. Evolve this. Ditch him. Knock that out. I get a prize by giving up a prize. But then I get up to what? 210 or 70 off. Gets counter catcher online. They found their switch out. Okay. <gasps> I was going to use that. Guessing, yeah, it goes into Radgren, takes out Curlia and a Graveyard. There's no world where they take out my Duskull. It doesn't make sense for them to take out Duskull. It gives them prizes. You want that on the board still. FM, you need a Triple B Halloween edition where only Halloween themed decks are. <laughs> like, we could definitely experiment around with it. I'm not too sure how well received it would be, but. And it's a tricky one to enforce. these ditch one of these just not finding the psychic pokemon hey so that's what five i'm at 210 not getting the ko into that at least soften them up, right? So we do this. I think he'll be 50 off. 70 off. No. Not quite where I need him at. Get rid of that, get rid of that.
Oh, where Curly is. What? Anything in the bin? No, they're prized? Okay, prizing two Curly is not ideal. Should have grabbed the evolution for this. That's okay. But yeah, now in hindsight, it would have been counter catcher that up. I don't know why I had it in my head. We were getting the knockout there or not the knockout, but like within 50 of the knockout. We could have taken this out, takes their draw engine offline and takes their option to take out two guys at a time offline. They're just going for crams, though. They are struggling to get lost on pieces. BMH, how appropriate, Lavender Town? Yeah, buddy. I got the Halloween playlist on right now. Okay, so now we're doing 230. So do I boss this one up? Boss that one up, and then at any point I can dust clop some down. Or I just deal with this. Do we have another? No, we don't. That was a waste. I could have used that as fodder to get the evolution here. That's fine. Just draw into it. Let's go for the weak one here. Oh, there's the earliest. <laughs> uh, I have a quick question to everyone out there. Is there anywhere online with resources for expanded format as you want to get into playing it again? Oh, I'm not too sure. It's not a format I really touch. Uh, Chad, as you'll bring an Altaria deck, Altaria is a bird which live in trees. Trees grow on the ground, just like pumpkins, technically Halloween. Right? Like, it's one of those things. How do we enforce it? How do we enforce it? Uh, Expanded is tough. Not many people play that, but you would recommend looking into GLC, which is widely loved. I like GLC. Expanded is like, oh, I don't know, borderline too crazy. Like, there's way too many ridiculous things you can do in that format. So it just kind of doesn't make sense, and you're almost better off just trying to find weird broken combos for yourself. You could probably hop on YouTube, just type in, um, like, expanded Pokemon. So I played on Dozo, it probably ate a pumpkin at some point. Exactly. Am I hitting hard enough to knock you out? I can. I need this to evolve up also, or else it is pretty much just Greninja for game. What's in here? Is there a Guardi? There is a Guardi. I really wish I had gotten into an Iono here. Because what do they need for game? They literally just need to get into Blood Moon Ursa Luna. I can't let this live or he knocks me out. I research. I think they just get it here. Right, like I take this out. Both out a way to take two prizes in a turn. Like the fact that they kept taking out my dust clops. Now we find <laughs> But yeah, it's if they can get into a Blood Moon or Saluna. 
bench it, attach for a turn, pivot into it, attack. It does, I think, 260 on the dot. It's 260 or 240. Maybe we do just survive. I think it's 260. Sably Eye. That'll do it too. Okay. Yeah, pivot into Sable Eye. Attach Psychic Energy. Oh, no, it doesn't do it. They need two prizes. For some reason, I thought they were down to one. Maybe you're running one of Rigid Band in this deck? Oh, God, no. I want more Psychic Pokemon in here. I don't want more tech tools. I want to be able to go faster, not tech. Right? Like, you... When you're building a deck, focus on making your deck do what it wants to do before you focus on all the weird little, hey, this is good in this situation. It's like, no, no, I need to focus on my deck working as intended before we start to tech things in. So like teching in the Desclops, as an example, is kind of fine because they're psychic Pokemon. They're going in the discard pile and they're directly boosting up the damage with their abilities. Teching in Rigid Band, it's making me take, what, 30 less damage? Into Giratina, it kind of helps, but they have lost vacuum, so they just lost vacuum it away. Like the amount of times where it's going to do what it intends to do and be relevant, I don't think it's really there. Uh, right, what do I want here? I want another Gardevoir, that's what I want, but they're in the discard. Is there a Super Rod in here still? No. What are they like? It's literally if they come out and attack with Blood Moon or Saluna. So, do I just pivot into Gardevoir here? If I don't, Blood Moon comes out, takes me out. This goes 12 counters, I'm 30 off. If they try and like gust stall, I'm not gonna be able to get it out of the active. I think I just bank on it. Yeah, if they have Blood Moon, they have Blood Moon. Although they're on a two card hand, I should. I should have done it. I should have hard retreated because the odds of them having boss to stall is what? One's already in the discard pile. Prime Catcher's already gone. That's pretty low. Odds of them having Blood Moon to be able to just pivot attack game much higher. So at the same time, if I'm attaching three energy onto this, I'm taking 60 damage. I'm going down to 250. They hit for 260. It's irrelevant. to double check that. Is it 250 or, or 240 or 260? It has been too long since I've competitively played this. I don't remember the exact math on that one. It's 240. Okay, that would have been the play then. So I retreat into Gardevoir, accelerate three energy out to it, we take 60. Ah, oh, they, they have nothing. Cool. Ah, uh, but yeah, for hindsight, it would be going into guard bar would have been the safer play. All right. I like this deck, though. This is actually running pretty good. Okay, we're going first, we're going second. We're going first. There's not a lot of logic in putting Kleffa out. I don't necessarily have this, but I do have this. We should be okay. But I don't have a way to necessarily get energy onto this immediately. We will do that. Yeah, like, I feel like we probably do need some rare candies in here. What are we into? What is this? Oh, I didn't know you better have a Halloween party at school. Well, we're just gonna dress up 
We'll hold off on the aroma, just so I can use Grasp and Draw next turn. And get more value out of it. Right, like we can evolve up to the Houndstone, we can evolve up to the Dusclops, we won't necessarily proc them. Oh, okay, well there it goes anyways. It's a pretty nice hand. Iron Thorns could be problematic. We have boss though. Yeah, so they pivot into the basic Maridon, hit us for 40, charge up their bench. Fair. I might just check this in the active. Not doing nearly enough damage to take a knock. Oh, maybe we could, I guess. This could technically knock them out. Takes a single prizer out there. We want to go 2-2-2. Two, two, two. But I'd have to top deck into an energy. No, let's let him have that. Double Ralts. Get another Graveyard out. Could boss to stall them, but I think we have to hang on to boss to deal with that or get around that. Dagger, you're on the local's purest warrior of the ladder. Growl with him to make shift you sure. <laughs> they're, they're trying something. <laughs> Alright, they go for another peak acceleration. Honestly, vibe. Yep. We are letting them get way too many things charged up right now, but that's that's okay. into this. I don't think they have anything hitting us hard enough. That top deck though. And energy wise, oh, energy wise we still aren't there are we? I could at least lock him in the active. Ball this way, this way, or Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball this way, this way, get a psychic Pokemon, Ultra Ball that way. Just need to be able to find Guardi. No, not you. Guardi off this. There's two in here, so that's good. Grab Cleffa. Just get another Curlia and lean into it. Because I've used these two already. I need to be able to get Psychic Energy in the bin and into Guardi. Wait a minute, where are we going? Oh, to the party! It's gonna be tricky. Alright, I need to top deck Psychic Gardevoir. Nope, oh, okay. Uh, we got at least another Psychic. We've got, what, one Psychic in there? He's not hitting hard enough to take one shot. He's not currently. They could get another future boost capsule out. We're going to big bite them. They're going to struggle to retreat around us. Let's do this for the time being. 
Not ideal though. I guess the one thing we do have going for us is they don't have the Iron Hands EX on the bench being charged up. So it's not like they can half hit into us or soften us up and then go into an Iron Hands ever. So what's for retreat cost on this guy? It's four. So if they ran heavy baton, heavy baton on that, that could charge up an Iron Hands EX. These guys are cooks trying to become shit. <laughs> like, Future Box is an interesting concept. I feel like it's kind of fallen off just because there's not a fast way to accelerate out to it. And yeah, they do have the heavy baton. Crap. I need to deal with that before they have space for a uh, Iron Hands EX. Try and get into counter catcher. The energy in the middle. How hard am I hitting? Hit two more psychic Pokemon in the bin. Okay, let's do this. Is there any in here? Beautiful. Exactly enough. Get rid of this. That'll help. Get rid of this. Like Morty's this way to straight draw it, or I, I feel it. Like, yeah, Morty's is probably the call. Beautiful. And then I have this. I can get rid of. Get rid of this. Finding that's big. Yeah. We take that out. That means if they do get an Iron Hands EX on their board, ever they're not charging it up, they can move that to wherever. I don't really care. Charge this up, sure. They're doing, what, 240, 260 because of that. So they are able to one-shot into our guy, but the fact that we have to charge up with Gardevoir anyways, they're always going to be one-shotting if they're able to attack with these. How much does this do? It's doing 160, 180. Just enough to get us? That's kind of cooked. Okay. No way. Okay. I get to keep three cards. Well, I've got a backup of him already, so this can go. This, I think we're going to hang on to because I can knock out a Maridon with it. This I hang on to because I need a backup. That can go, that can go, that can go. Not that, that. Our deck's pretty small, so honestly, the research can go. I need to be able to gust kill that, though. He's doing 240 right now, yeah? Yeah. Gus KO that or Gus KO that. Take that out, we go down to three. Deal with that. Does also mean I could I own all them down to a one card hand, but no, we need to be able to boss here. Yeah, 
That'll do it too. Okay, how much are we doing? 270, so we're 50 off. I knock this out. Take that out. Oh, it doesn't get there. I have to do it there. That's kind of frustrating. Yeah, it'd be 50 off. I just need gas for game now, though. Dottenberg, is Maraidon on top tier now? Are you talking about this Maraidon we're playing into right now? God, no. Absolutely not. Uh, if you're talking about Lightning Maraidon EX, it's up there. Like, I'd say it's it's tier 2, tier tier 1.5. Like, it's it's definitely making a comeback. Okay, they have boss. They bring up Curlia. They knock it out for game. Cool. Now, this is just I haven't been grinding ladder matches, so we're in low ranks, and uh, we're seeing some weird stuff, and... I'm currently playing some weird stuff too, so it's fair. <laughs> ah, but no, like Lightning type Marad on EX, I think it's been making a comeback. What about this Gardevoir Houndstone? Oh god, no, no. This is just the fun Halloween deck. <laughs> this is not top tier by any means. If you want to see top tier decks, go to Limitless TCG, look at the recent tournaments. Uh, and you'll get a better understanding of kind of where the meta's at right now. This is just Wednesdays, we do a bit of workshop stuff. And with it being Halloween, we're trying out some Halloween decks. <laughs>